In this video, we're going to refactor the cart service. Currently, we have some very basic code for finding an item in the cart. So we have this for loop. We loop over each item in the cart and we make some comparisons. This is the code that we're going to refactor by using a special method available for arrays. Okay, so we'll make use of the find method. This method returns the first element in an array that passes a given test. So the find method is an instance method that's available on all arrays. And basically it'll loop through the array and it'll check a given test. So the test that we're using here is we're trying to see if temp cart item dot ID equals the cart item dot ID. And so it'll execute the test for each element in the array until the test passes. So it'll loop through the elements in the background. If the test passes, then it's going to return the first element in the array that passed. If the test fails for all elements in the array, then it's going to return undefined, basically meaning, hey, I couldn't find that element. So if you'd like to get more details on this find method, you can go to the website here on the screen. We'll redirect you to the official documentation for the find method. Alrighty, so let's look at some coding for this. And now just a quick heads up, we'll reference the cart item. That's an element that's passed into the method for add to cart. So that's the actual element that we're searching for in our shopping cart. Alrighty, so up top we have this for loop. And so we have the temp cart item. That's the current array element as we loop through the array. And then we had a test conditional here. We check to see if temp cart item dot ID equals the cart item ID. So that's kind of like the existing code, the basic code that we had before. Now at the bottom here, we'll have this new code or a replacement or a refactored code. And so we'll make use of this current array element. So that's the temp cart item. And then we have this test conditional temp cart item dot ID equals the cart item dot ID. And so it's going to execute the test for each element in the array until the test passes. So it'll do the looping in the background for us. And so it's going to return the first element that passes the test, else it returns undefined. So the coding that we had at the top, we can basically replace it with the coding here we have at the bottom. That's a good way of refactoring our code. So let's kind of pull it together here with the before and after. So on the left hand side, we had the before code. So our basic way of doing a for loop. And then over on the right, we have our after code. So here we're going to make use of cart items dot find. So as you can see here, there's some improvement. Uh, we minimize the amount of code that we have to make use of. And uh, we're making use of some of the built-in methods available on arrays. So I like this. This is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and move into our IDE and uh, let's refactor our code uh, using this new feature. Alrighty. I'll see you in the next video.